Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data scientist or a data analyst, then cracking the SQL interview round is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, MLV Prasad, I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are available at the LeetCode platform. Okay, and all my code solutions for the questions which are asked in the LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The solutions for that and uh, everything is available in the repository and the link for that is available in the description below in addition to that i have segregated the channel into five playlists namely easy medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question the premium level subscription questions as premium playlist questions and all the questions combined into one single playlist as all sql playlist okay now let's see the question which we are trying to solve today it is type medium question number 0180 consecutive numbers here you can see it is already asked in amazon facebook adobe and okay write an sql query to find the all the numbers that appear at least three times consecutively written the return table in any order okay the query they have given some input table okay it is already there here if you see one is there consecutively three times two is there again one time one is there again one time, two is there again two times. So what is there? Only one is repeated consecutively. So one is the answer. So how to get that? So how to get that is? There is a trick here. Let me tell you. Let's create row number only for number. One, two, three, four. Again for two means I am trying to partition by number and the ascending order of ID I am trying to do row number okay now here it will be 1 2 3 if two numbers are consecutive means in same order the difference will always be same if you see 1 minus 1 it will be 0 1 2 minus 2 it will be 0 3 minus 3 it will be 0 here the number changed so it's row number changed here the value became 3 here 5 minus 1 became 4 became 1 see here it became 1 so again the value changed 6 minus 2 4 again 7 minus 3 4 okay so whenever the consecutive numbers are there consecutive things are there will be there so what you will do we will create this id minus row number thing and we will try to group by number and this new thing and we will d see wherever it is count greater than or equal to 3 and we will figure it out okay Let's first of all create it. Select from logs ID comma number comma row number over partition by num order by ID ascending. Okay, let's call it something RR. As you can see here, whenever it is consecutive, it will have same number, right? Uh, here you can see one, two, three is there here. Again, five it is gone. Again, for four, six, three. So now what we want? If we do ID minus this one, ID minus. See, 1, 2, 3 has this. Okay, let's order by this one so that we can see clearly. Order by ID. Now you can see, right? First 3 are consecutive, so three, 0 is the answer. For again 3, after that again number is changing 1, again last 2 are 4. Because those 2 are consecutively same. Now let's call it as some CT okay with ct as let's remove this one now from ct let's group by id comma rr select id comma rr such that 
having count of rows greater than or equal to 3. Uh, why it is not showing group by id comma rr let me not id sorry it should be num okay only one row is there where it is one comma three which is first three things are there so we don't want r so we'll keep only num and they want to call it as consecutive numbers nums let's run it okay it got accepted let's submit it Okay, let me see what is the mistake. What is the code just have written? Okay, we, we want only unique numbers, so I will give distinct num. Okay, our solution has been accepted by the platform. Thanks for watching my video. If you want more detailed explanations like this with code written along with that, just subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for a data analyst, data scientist or a business analyst interview for the SQL round. It will be greatly helping them and you also. Thanks for watching.